helped me improve my game dramatically since I've been here. Um, but Wisconsin Walkie's getting a hell of a coach. You know, um, can't say enough good things about Coach Vell, so I'm extremely happy for him and his family. You see the look on his face in that championship game after you scored during Coach the timeout. Yeah, I mean you had to have yeah. seen that. I've seen that. Yeah, and we talk about it all the yeah. time. Like he even t he just says, like he was just laughing there on the bench. He's like, I was like a fan at that point. You yeah. Know? Um, it was just so many good memories, you know, at Michigan with you know, the coaches, teammates, everything like that. Where are things with you and Coach Beeline now? And uh, I mean, there's been so much written, uh, kind of set the record straight about yeah. everything that's going on. No, it was, it was crazy. A lot of that was just kind of out of our control. Mm -hmm. um, you know, things just kind of spiral out of control. But me and Coach B have a great relationship. We always have. Um, you know, I've been talking with him every day. I've been in the gym still. He still, you know, got me around, working out with the team, doing stuff. Um, and shoot, I think me and Karis are going to his house for dinner next week. Well, she's gonna grill out some steaks for us. So you don't feel wronged. No, 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 not at all. Jesus, <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, he's the one who gave me the opportunity to play at Michigan. Yep. Um, you know, I'm forever grateful for that. So when you see that headline, I think it was Pat Forty that wrote that column. What, what was your response to that? Your reaction? Um, I was just like, I was like, oh no. I remember thinking maybe Tito was like calling me and texting me. And I was just like, it might have even been you. I was just like, yeah, I did not, I did not <laughs> want it to go like this. Yeah. You know, because I don't want people to think there's any like. You know, bad blood between me and Coach Beer in Michigan. I think you guys know um, more than anything. I, you know, I love my time here in Michigan, and um, I love Coach B and all the other coaches. They've been nothing but but good to me. You hold out any hope at all that you you can be back here next year? Um, yeah, I mean, I think there's that the possibility, obviously, with the scholarship opening up. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and me and Coach B have had some conversations, um, but you know, also, I mean, he wasn't expecting me. You know, to be hurt and miss this season, so obviously he has a, a guard coming in. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's got to do what's you know, he's got to make choice and do what's best for the team. Um, but that's something still. I'm, you know, after graduation, you know, I have another follow up with the doctors. Um, I'm sure we'll continue talking and, and kind of figure out what's best for both of us. You said playing time though was a factor in where you want to go, and, where, and obviously you said there will be less here. Yeah, right. but, it's, but it's Michigan. Okay. You know, um, so that I mean, if it if it was you know the right opportunity and if he you know, one to bring it back and, you know, it opened up and things like that. If we both agree that you know, it, was, it was the best, I think you know, I'd, I'd like to go out with that. Be here an Indiana kid. What if Purdue or Indiana came up to you tomorrow or something? Would that something you'd think? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I, yeah, I'd have to really, like, sit down and think about that. Um, but right now I've, I've pretty much just been saying um, I'm not really trying to talk to schools until after I graduate. And, you know, I got another, like I said, I got another doctor's appointment here in, like, two, three weeks. So I want to make sure I'm 100% healthy and, you know, that I don't just come back to come back. You know, I want, if I want to come back, I want to be healthy and, you know, able to help the team. Have you mm -hmm. talked to other schools? I haven't. Um, not me. Like You've got, you got a lot of calls, though. I've gotten, I've gotten a lot of calls, and kind of my, you know, my high school coach, prep school coach, all of them, everyone gets calls. You know, it's crazy. Um, so who's talking pretty to much, anyone? Um, Is anyone talking to them on your behalf? Kind of, but I pretty much just said, like, for right now, I don't really want to deal with anything until okay. after I, I graduate. To be, you know, in order to be a graduate transfer, you got to graduate. So <laughs> i got to take care of business. And then um, I also want to do the doctor's appointment and make sure I'm, I'm good to go because, you know, there's no sense in leading someone on. And then, you know, three weeks later, I can't play or something like that. Safe to say it's not just App State calling, though. Yeah, a little bit more than App State. But yeah. you know what? Them in Michigan, they were there first, though. So. Yeah. They could probably use you. Yeah, I don't know. Some maybe. Silicon ball? Maybe. So kind of, who knows? <laughs> where, where are you right now in terms of your health? I'm feeling pretty good. Okay. Pretty Give good. us a percentage. Any? Can you put um, a number on it? I'd probably say I'm you know, 85%, around that 85%. Wow. Um, I think the biggest thing is just kind of getting my, my wind back and my heart rate, things like that. Um, I've been working out a little bit. and it, you know, It'll come back, but it, it goes quick, too. You know, I was running up and down, and I was, I was feeling it. So, but that that'll come back once I start really getting back into it. But no soreness in the hips? Um, not too bad, no. Okay. Definitely much more manageable, um, but it's not nearly as bad. You know, it's still kind of get a little bit of lingering stuff, um, but it's not you know sore for three, two, three days like it was before. You know. Oh, how how hard are you working it though? Um, I really just like the past couple of weeks I've been getting after it, trying to do something every day, um, but it's obviously nothing compared to you know, like a live game or practice, you know, it's going to be different when I, when I start doing that stuff. You, you'll say you got, what, two, two or three weeks is your next appointment, you said? Yeah. So, you know, at that point, you know, how, I mean, how sure are you that you could play next year? Because it would take, obviously, some program, whoever would be interested, whether it's here or other, otherwise, yeah. kind of a, 
you know, leap of faith to mm -hmm. you know, give you a scholarship okay. and say, yeah. we hope yeah. we deploy yeah. next year. Yeah, right. and I think a lot of that's just kind of okay. relying on the doctor's words. Right. And, um, you know, I mean, from everything I've been hearing, I'm going to be good to go. But also, like, my goal isn't to be ready, you know, in June. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not competing for championships in June. I want to be ready by next October. So that gives me a whole you know, six more months. Is your criteria in terms of finding a place, I mean, whether it's here or somewhere, if it's if it's somewhere else, I mean, what are the things you're looking at? You know? um, is distance a factor from home? Is it? I mean, not, not really. I mean, I'm pretty much open to wherever, but I definitely, you know, I think the biggest thing is I want to go some, with a good culture, you know. That's the thing I like here about Michigan is, you know, you're around good people, teammates were great, um, so that's definitely going to play, you know, a big factor. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you.